Hi guys, it's Rob here, and in this series of tutorials, I'm going to be taking you through uh, how to make like a full project in Unity. So this is like a project tutorial that I've made, where I've created all of the assets, the game assets for you guys, and then I'm going to show you step by step how to put it together to create uh, a video game in Unity. So this is Unity, it's a 2D video game, it's called Mouse Maze. You play as a little mouse navigating through a maze, uh, avoiding traps and also eating cheese which correlates to your energy level and this tutorial uh, series is going to be able to be found on YouTube and th there's going to be a link to my gaming portfolio which is web.ngit.edu slash tilde rag29 slash and basically that'll take you to my gaming portfolio and the tutorials are going to be under the tutorial section of course right now I don't have a tutorials page yet but that will be put up, uh, you know, once I finish these tutorials. I'll put the link up there for you to download the assets, and the videos will be on YouTube, as well as uh, on my tutorial page of my portfolio website. So, just to give you a little demonstration of this game, but first, basically, uh, the tutorial videos that I plan on making, this is the overview. Next, I'm going to go into how to create the start menu, the start page, basically. And then after that, there's going to be Game Logic 1 and Game Logic 2. Uh, two videos just designed on teaching you how to actually build the game, the core game mechanics with the assets given. And I'll take you step by step through the coding. Uh, it's all going to be done in C Sharp. So if, you know, if you're new to this, don't worry. I'm going to take you through step by step. That's the whole point of these tutorials. Then there's the game over sequence. At the, there's the game over uh, scene at the end. And then the outro video where we basically wrap up and uh, I just basically show you guys a, a last few, a few uh, ending things. So without further ado, this is the game. And by the way, all sound is to Kevin McLeod on the content. So all sound is uh, credited to him or from his website. So basically, you hit start. You navigate through this maze. You hit a trap. Now, of course, currently I don't have any colliders on these walls and stuff. This is this is just a, a prototype that I'm going to show you guys how to make. You guys can feel free to clean it up any way that you want. We navigate here. And then... So basically what I'm doing is I'm using the mouse. And, okay, so the, the computer mouse, and the mouse on the screen is actually responding to my input by turning in the direction that my mouse is giving him. But notice, when you move a computer mouse, it doesn't fully move one way, and that's why he's doing this little fidgety thing here. And our energy is 124. It decreases by two energy points every three seconds. But that shouldn't be a problem for us. If I go down this way, come through here, up this way, and we finish our maze. And then, you know, there's just going to be a little collider here, and it's going to take us to basically a U windscreen, which I haven't even made yet. So, without further ado, uh, this, this is basically the intro video. You can see I have my start scene here, I have a game over scene here. Right? And I have the main scene of the game here. The actual game board. So that's about it. Uh, the last thing I just want to go over is basically some of these tools here for our overview. Uh, and then we're going to get right to it and, and jump into actually coding this thing. So basically, you have your file menu, so new scene, open scene. So basically, Unity groups things based on projects and scenes. Now, a project would be, for example, this one game. This is one Unity project. But I have the game over, main, and start scenes. So the start is for the start screen. The main is this, the actual uh, main, where the main gameplay takes place. And then the game over scene is there. So those three scenes are in this project. And eventually, we're going to have a you win scene. Now, with the, the techniques I show you here, um, you could probably do that on your own. That might be a little project that I'll just have you guys do on your own because I'm going to be showing you how to transition between scenes and everything. So I don't have any assets right now for you win. So that'll, that'll either be something that I include later on or that you guys could do on your own once you learn everything from this tutorial. 
Now, basically, as you'll see here, we have a hierarchy where we have parent objects and children objects. Notice the children are indented. See, so all of these are parent objects. We click these arrows here and we see their children. And basically, what that just means is that if we move a parent, the child's going to get moved. But if we move a child, the parent is not going to get moved. So uh, note that distinction. We have our prefabs right here. Everyone use it. Once again, thanks to Kevin McLeod from uh, IncompTech.com. So we have our uh, editor folder, our scripts. This is very important. This is where all the code is stored. Our sprites, which are all the pictures that we imported and sprite sheets that we imported. You can see here we can open it up in the sprite editor. And you can see that I just cut that up. Or actually, I believe Unity cut that up for me. Uh, but I had to make some adjustments there uh, just because it wasn't, it wasn't pixel perfect on this specific one. On the kitchen, it was much more pixel perfect for me. And standard assets, that was just messing around with some camera stuff. Okay, so without further ado, uh, thanks for watching this tutorial. And we're going to jump right into our menu. Uh, or actually, yeah, our start screen in the next tutorial. Thanks.